Hello! Probably you have just installed Privacy IDEA on your Univention server. In this video I will show you what you can do with it. I will configure a Univention server, a Univention member server, so that the root user can authenticate with a second factor with a Google Authenticator. Okay, well, then let's start by enrolling a Google Authenticator for the user root. This is our privacy idea server on the Univention system. We will log in with the Univention administrator with the domain password. As you can see at the moment there are no tokens enrolled and but as you also can see there's no root user here. So we configure a second user source. We choose a type password resolver and we choose the local users which are located, of course, in etc pass wd. We add this source to the existing realm of the users. Therefore, we edit the user realm and add the local source. As you can see now, we remember this is the realm of the administrators and this is the realm of the users. As you can see now, here are the users from the LDAP, but also in the very same realm, the users from the password file. And we are using the user root and we are going to enroll a new token to the user root. We choose an event-based token, we choose that the OTP server will generate the OTP key and we set a simple OTP pin which we can remember easily. Then we click Enroll. Now we can take the Google Authenticator app on the smartphone and scan this QR code. Okay, QR code is scanned, we can go to the token and we can test the token. The OTP pin I chose was test and the OTP value the rule authenticator generates is 470827. Fine, everything went fine. Okay, now we have the user root who has an OTP token to authenticate with. What we have to do now is configure the Linux server, the UCS server, to authenticate against privacy idea. Okay, let's see. I put down some notes. We have to reconfigure the pump stack. For this we need the PUM module, PUM Python, which unfortunately is not contained in the UCS repository, so we just get the <coughs> original Wheezy package. And then we install it. And then we need a, from privacy idea we need a PUM module which is here located at the authentication modules PUM Python module which redirects the authentication request from the PUM stack to the privacy idea server. You can see here in the readme file the necessary configuration options. So let's download this. Oh, 
Okay, fine. Now we need to adapt the pump configuration. Wait a second, we also need some dependencies. We need Python requests, which is used to trigger HTTP requests to the privacy idea server. And we need Python pathlib, which is used in the case you are using offline OTP. So we install the two necessary Python packages. And then we have to take a look at the pump configuration at common authentication. Um, honestly, I already add this line here, which is sufficient to use the privacy idea pump module to authenticate against, in my case, localhost, the privacy idea server could be located anywhere else, to change the password prompt and, as this is a demo environment, to not verify the SSL certificate. Please note that you probably should change the uh, pump templates as these changes will be overwritten when you reconfigure the Univention server. Okay, I think everything is in place. So let's just test this. We can authenticate with the original password, as you can see, as we said it, authenticating against privacy ID would be sufficient, but we would also use the same password to try to authenticate against the password file against PAM Unix. So let's try to authenticate against privacy ID. I use the OTP pin which I set and I need to enter the OTP value for my token, which is 1460.99. And we are also authenticated successfully. In the audit trail, you will see the following. Okay. You can see, uh, jump to the audit lock easily when you select the token. And here you can see a successful authentication here with this token of this user. So this way you could reconfigure the pump stack on all Linux machines or on all Univention servers. You would like to improve security by adding a second factor for the user root to authenticate and log in, which of course would also work remotely via SSH. Or if you're interested in this, let's take a look at this. This is my Univention server. You see, I'm also asked for the OTP. 566885 and can log in with my OTP token via SSH. Have fun and authenticate.